we have a Trek here. This is the uh, 5.9 SL Madone, made in USA. Uh, unlike my S Works SL8, which is made in China. And there's nothing wrong with made in China. My iPhone's made in China, but uh, it's the same for the money. So this bike here is was advertised in the Facebook Marketplace yesterday for $450 Australian. $450 Australian sold pretty quick. Uh, to a guy who, who knows about these bikes through my videos, unfortunately, so I missed out on this one, but it's all good. It's a 58 centimeter, pretty sure, and it's the 5.9 SL, which is, I think, I think it's a 2004 model, and it's got a 10 speed Dura race on there, the Bontrager race light, the uh, race extra light wheel set, sorry, and they have an internals done by DT Swiss. It's got your Bontrager race light uh, seat post in there, it's got a titanium rail saddle. I don't like these saddles because they're not cut out, that's personal preference. Otherwise, it's pretty stock except for the tires. And uh, so, as is, it's a nice bike. On these here is the Bontrager Bat Cage. And these come out in 2003 when I worked in the Trek dealer, Boston Express in Adelaide. And this is the Bontrager Bat Cage. Lance Armstrong's favorite cage. And did you know, this cage is still used in the Tour de France this year in 2023. So it's a tech, 20 year old tech that's still used in the Tour de France today. Because it's light and it works. So if you want a really good cage, it's plastic and it's fantastic. Bon Traga back cage. Hold your bottle's good and it's just fantastic. And it's still used today in the Tour de France. It's crazy. So if you go to two, 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 uh, <laughs> but, 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 2003 Tour de France, you'll see the back cage. And the 2023 Tour de France, you'll see the back cage in there. So anyway, this is a great bike. With pedals, we weighed it, it's about 7.5 kilos. And so it's a few hundred grams heavier um, than the SL8, which is about 7.25 with pedals. This has got alloy wheels, by the way. If we put carbon wheels on this, this baby's definitely lighter than SL8 S Works, which we'll get to now. And then, and then we have the SL. This is actually heavier. Damn, it feels heavier. Maybe it's, maybe it's just psychosomatic. Maybe it's just, I don't know. We we'll have to wear these bikes again. This one, maybe my arms are tired or something. Anyway, um, this bike here, that that trek behind us here, that was. Uh, purchased in the USA, so the brakes the other way around. So in Australia, we want to swap them over. I just prefer the feel. Here, you want to swap the brakes around. This is a five-hour job, and you have to buy full new cables, new housing. Uh, you got to you're just total fucking faff just to change the brakes. Swap, you know, it's just insane. Um, that track, you know, like someone said, can you swap my brakes for me in the park? It's a five-wheel Allen key. Let's do it. You know. If someone said to me, can you swap my brakes on the Hydro, the SL8? I'd be like, no, thanks, but no thanks. It'll cost you two or three hundred bucks, you know? How, I'd be at your local bike shop. How much does it cost to swap the brake levers around uh, on my SLX SL8? <laughs> it's crazy, man. But, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing how bikes have gone downhill in performance and quality and in serviceability. And this bike is not faster. If, if I had to, you know, take, get on EPO, like Phil Gaimon, Cookie Man, if we, we had to do a full-on race, I'm picking that bike versus this bike, 100%. And I know, and I know as well, Cookie Man, we love you, he would also pick that bike as well. He's on the rim brakes. You, know, you, you won't see Cookie Man, as much of a seller as he is, he ain't sold out to, uh, to disc brakes yet, you know? So he's still running the, the rim brakes, and we've got to respect that, okay? Fake Natty for sure, but he's on the rim brakes, so we love him for sure. Anyway, that's the deal. S-Works SL8 versus a $450 Madone 5.9 SL. You can't make this stuff up. It's uh, it's hilarious, man. What a world we live in. First world problems. <laughs>